Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to explain the interview question. What is an expat? What is an expat? Very straightforward. Very straightforward question, right? So guys, this question can be answered in two ways. Okay. Uh, one way is to technically explain what exactly an expat is, and also you can also give another type of answer in the way of selenium. Okay, selenium oriented way of answering. Okay, that, that is the second way. So let me explain with uh, two types. Okay, you can give both answers, guys. Not a problem. Uh, you can start by technically speaking explanation. So expat, what exactly is an expat? Expat is a language, guys. Okay, like C language, Java language, like that. Expat is also an, an another type of language. But what is the purpose of the language? But what is the purpose of this expat language? It can be used for traversing through the XML document. Expat language was created to traverse through an XML document. You you all, you know about an XML document, right? Uh, it will be similar to an HTML tags, right? X XML document is similar to the HTML tags. But XML document, XML document tags doesn't have any predefined meanings. Okay, whereas HTML tags have some predefined meanings. If you use p tag and uh, starting p tag and ending p tag, that means it's in a paragraph. But in XML, in XML, there are no predefined tags. It looks in XML document looks similar to the HTML, right? So XPath language is a language which was created earlier to traverse through an XML document. Okay, this is the purpose it got created earlier. So you can explain this. What is an expat? Expat is a language that is used for traversing through an XML document. That is straightforward answer for an expat. When you technically explain it, you can mention that guys. So technically speaking, expat is a language that can be used for traversing through an XML document. You can mention that. Okay. So what is the purpose of traversing through an XML document? In XML document, you can store the data. The purpose of the XML document is to transfer the data between two systems. For example, there is system A and system B. System A is developed in Java language. System B is developed in some C sharp or .NET language. Now, uh, the software in system A want to communicate, uh, send some data to the software in system B, which is developed in C sharp language. Since they cannot communicate with each other, uh, either because Java cannot communicate C sharp and C sharp cannot communicate Java back, right? So they have to use an intermediate language, that an intermediate kind of uh, communication platform that is possible with the help of XML guys, okay? Java will parse something and convert into an XML format of data. That XML format of data can be read by another system. So it's a kind of mediator for transferring the data between two different type of systems. So, so since XML document has some data, it may be like name is name tag, in uh, it may be like in between the name tag, it may, will be like Arun, okay, slash name, and uh, last last name tag, and in between Motori slash uh, slash last name, something like that. So such kind of information can be sent, guys. Mobile slash mobile, uh, email slash email, all the type of information can be sent in the XML format, okay. To so XML, so XML document stores data which helps in communicating between two different type of system. That's fine. But expat is a language, right? Is created to traverse through an XML document. Why it has to traverse through an XML document to retrieve or find the desired information. Okay. So using expat language, we can go to a particular tag in the XML document, maybe name tag or phone phone tag, or it may be email tag uh, to find the desired inform to get or find the desired information. We can go and get the details. Okay. Okay. And since HTML, since the structure of HTML is similar to XML, okay, since the structure of HTML is similar to XML, we can use the same language, okay, we can use the same XPath language for not only traversing through an XML document but also through the HTML document, also, okay, we can use the same language with both XML documents and HTML documents because the syntax and structure of the HTML and XML documents are similar. In HTML document, also, we can Traverse through the HTML tags and get the go to the required tag and get the desired information between those tags. Fine. Now, XPath uses in order to traverse. Okay, in order to traverse through this XML document or HTML document, XPath uses path expressions. Okay, using this language syntaxes, we have to create the path expressions. 
the path expressions are nothing but absolute x path and relative x path guys okay we have, you already know about those things right absolute x path and relative x path such things are nothing but path expressions which are created using the x path language and which can be used to traverse between uh, through the xml document or html document in in as part of selenium we traverse the html document only we know where traverse with xml okay we will traverse the html document to get the desired information right to locate the in selenium to locate the desired web element ui element on the web page so you already know how the x path absolute x path and related x path look right they look like a files file system path right right now this is a technical answer guys this is a technical answer you can uh, answer these are the points you can include in your answer and answer in your in your own way to the interviewer who is asking this question and apart from that you can also mention that x path it's not technical speaking next uh, thing is selenium oriented way of explaining this answer uh, most of the people may explain like this only okay most of the people may not explain like this most of the people will be explaining like this but if you add this kind of technical speaking answer it may add more value to your answer guys okay so apart from this you can also answer this technical way of answering so selenium oriented way of answering this question is something like this you can say that xpath expressions are one of the located types that can be used for locating the ui elements on the web pages okay there are different type of locators in selenium right for selenium right one is id name class name link text partial link text uh, xpath expression css selectors dom okay like this many located types are there so xpath expressions are one of those types of located types that can be used for locating the elements on the web page so this way you can answer this question perfectly guys that's it guys thank you bye